So my name is Ed Thomas, I'm uh, the Head of Community Experience here at The Collective and we're sat here in the Secret Garden which is uh, one of the many spaces in uh, The Collective Old Oak which is the world's biggest co-living space. We started co-living because we felt that there wasn't uh, a good option for people looking to live in London. It was born out of the fact that people are moving to London from abroad. It's harder to find a good quality affordable place to live. So co-living is uh, a model of living essentially, um, not radically different, it's living with lots of people, but it's living focused on community and, and sharing, uh, sharing spaces, sharing experiences, um, and with that you get a lot more for your money. What's important is that if you imagine you're moving to London for the first time, you don't know anyone, um, it's, it's very difficult to make friends and find your feet in a city and that can affect the overall experience. So one essential part of, of living in a place like this is that it's a plug-in life straight away and that means you can actually spend time doing things that matter rather than setting up bills, finding friends uh, and all that hassle. Every single floor of the 10 floors has got a different common space on it and anyone can use it. So whether you live on the second floor or the 10th floor, you can use whichever space you want and each one's themed slightly differently. So here we are in the Secret Garden, which is a quieter, more zen workspace. We have a cinema on the floor above, there's a, a games room above that and then a library. So you've got a huge range of options and uh, for us that's really important. It's, it's about offering really high quality spaces. We have a lot of people who live here who are entrepreneurs, change makers, uh, founders of new businesses and, and for them having that workspace is really important as well as their living space. They can kind of have all their life in one place. The communal areas are great. It's a great place where you can meet up with people and talk and it's not many people can say that they have a cinema room or a library or a place in which they can see stand-up comedians talk or they can sit around on these ridiculously velvet colorful couches and talk with your friends. Like the communal areas in that way to have that space is amazing. What's interesting is your own room can be your safe haven, but there's also a lot of safe havens in the rest of the building, but also your safe haven ends up being your friends. My favorite communal area is when, I'll give you an example, is when people come together in a space and you hang around and you have great conversations. So it's not a specific place, it's just more the experience. And that there's any room in here, aside from your own place, in your own room, but any room in here can be that great experience of just getting to talk to people from around the world, doing different things that you've never have done, and just to have that kind of enlightening conversation.